Mr. August podcast. Oh, podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Um, Let's go. Talk right down the barrel. Check. Okay, three, two, one. Hi, how are you guys? Check, check, check. Okay, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Welcome back to another episode of This Eucalyptus Life. I am your host, Mr. August, coming at you from Room 19 at Eucalyptus Elementary School, brought to you by the Uke Ought to Know Podcast Network. Today we have a very special show for you. We have some wonderful guests that work here at Eucalyptus that were kind enough to spare some time for our students to get to know them a little bit better. We hope you enjoy. Stuff question. Could you please tell us your name for the listeners? My name is Andrea Marquez. Oh, yeah. My name is Mr. Brown. Miss Castillo. Mr. Richardson. Hi guys, my name is Breland Buckles. My name is Miss Ira. Nancy Gabor. Do you live in Hesperia? I do not. I'm from Victorville, California, so I'm from this area. Have you always lived in Hesperia? Have you always lived in, H- in Hesperia? No, I have not. I do live in Hesperia now. Have you always lived in Hesperia? Have you always lived in Hesperia? Um, not always. No, I haven't. I lived in Baldwin Park, and I lived in San Jose, and then I moved to Hesperia. No, I'm not from Hesperia. I've lived here the last 12 years, 11 years. I actually do not live in Hesperia, and I have never lived in Hesperia, actually. I moved up here to the high desert, but I live over in Phelan. Okay, I've lived in the high desert my whole life. Born in Apple Valley, St. Mary's Hospital, shout out. Hesperia, Oak Hills, Apple Valley, back to Hesperia. I was grown. I was able to move out. Then I moved into a house in Hesperia. And now I moved out of that to another house in Hesperia with my wife and now two children. So anybody keeping track of how many times I moved? That's a little trivia. A little trivia for you guys. I don't live in Hesperia. I live in Victorville and I've lived in Victorville um, for... 22 years. I grew up in Mississippi. I'm originally from Mississippi and I moved to San Diego when I was 17. What is your job? What is your job? What is my job? So I am principal here at Eucalyptus Elementary, the best school ever. My job is um, sixth grade teacher here at Eucalyptus Elementary. That's a, that's, that's a loaded question there. I am an elementary teacher and I currently teach third grade. My job Title is teacher. I am a school secretary. Educator extraordinaire. I think it says it there somewhere there. And what inspired you to do it? What inspires you to do it? And what inspire you to do it? What inspires me is all the kids. I just love working with all the kids and love seeing all their little faces in the morning when they come into the office. I have always worked with students and love working with students and making a difference. So just seeing all of the positive things that schools do, I decided to go into education. I was inspired to uh, be a teacher because I used to do a lot of volunteer at schools and at my church, and I knew that I wanted to work with students. What inspired me to teach? Well, my mom's a teacher or was a teacher. Um, I guess I've always had that kind of inspiration to work with uh, the youth, the children, as they say. Um, I have a little background as a camp counselor for a couple of years uh, in the summer. Uh, I worked at my church as a, as a coordinator. I got the IT job and realized how awesome schools are. And that, wait, my mom's a teacher. I love working with kids. Why don't I become a teacher as well? And what inspired me to do it is I had a fifth grade teacher named Mrs. Smith in fifth grade. And I just really respected that she was um, a real human being. She spent time with us at our recess time, and she danced with us. She cried with us, and so she was like a mom, and that was uh, inspiring to me. What was your favorite teacher growing up? What was your favorite teacher growing up? Who was your favorite teacher growing up? My very favorite teacher was probably my kindergarten teacher, and her name was Miss Levine. Uh, my favorite teachers growing up, I have two. They were both in high school, was Miss Sullivan and Miss Braden. Miss Sullivan was my ASB teacher all of high school, and she was great. Miss Braden, she was my AP English teacher in high school, and we just bonded, and now I coach their daughters in skating. So I did have one. Uh, in second grade, her name was Miss Skinner. My favorite teacher, I would have to say, was uh, Mr. Alcorn. And he was my teacher in junior high. 
And you know what the funny thing is? When I started working for the school district, Mr. Alcorn was still at the junior high. So I worked with Mr. Alcorn. And it was so weird because he would want me to call him by his first name. And I could never do it. It was always Mr. Alcorn since I was little. Hmm. When did you start working at Eucalyptus? When did you start working at Eucalyptus? I started back in 2002. So I've been here a long time. 2021. So this is my third year at Eucalyptus. This is my third year. This is my third year at Eucalyptus. I started working at Eucalyptus in 2016, I think. I'm pretty sure. And then I became a teacher 2019-20 year. Uh, this year. I started working here at Eucalyptus in the year 2013. What, what did you want to be when you, when you were growing what up? What to be when you were growing up? What, what did, did you, you want, want to be, be when, when you were growing, growing up? up? I wanted to be a professional roller skater. I wanted to be an astronaut. That was the first thing I wanted to do when I was probably around third, fourth grade. And then I realized I was scared of heights and <laughs> it wasn't going to be a thing for me. <laughs> I wanted to do nursing. If I wanted to be a doctor. When I was a kid, I did think about being a veterinarian. And I realized I cannot stay on the side of blood. It made me woozy. I thought I wanted to be a lawyer. I just like justice, but if I realized that I'd like to work with kids better. I wanted to be a director, a film director. You were not working. If you're not, if you were, is this your dream job? This is my dream job. This is my dream job. Um, I am in my dream job right now. I didn't know it back then, but I love doing what I do right now. If you were not working here, what would you be doing instead? Oh, I think if I didn't work here, I would like to work in any type of um, fashion industry, decorating, that's something that I would really like to do. I would be a district attorney. Probably would be like a detective and do like the CSI, you know, crime investigation. I'm really into that kind of stuff. Um, what would I be doing if I wasn't working here? Probably be doing something in the medical field. You know, that's a, that's a really good question. What I probably would be doing is something with a video, with film. I love to watch movies. What, what is your favorite thing to do outside what, of school? What is your favorite thing to do outside of school? Do you What's like your favorite thing to do outside of school? school? Spend time with my kids. Mm, obviously, you know, play with my, my children, spend time with family. I like to spend time with my family. That's, of course, number one. Then my second is I like to, you know, believe it or not, play games, video games, you know. I love to go hiking. So I love to go explore new places and go get exercise and... Just go hiking all over. What else do I like to do? I like to paint. I love to travel. If you didn't know that, I like to paint. I love to play basketball. I love to do gardening and crafts. Any sports outside of school. Softball, basketball. I like to also make uh, candy. I love to go shopping. Honestly, sleep. Sleep is also a fun thing I like to do. On an average day, what is your daily routine? On an average day, what is your daily routine? Get up. Get up. Get up at around 7, 6.50, 7. Um, it varies every single day. Get dressed, brush my teeth, comb my beard, put beard oil in it, comb it out just a little bit more, and then I proceed to put my shoes on. Oh, sorry, reverse that. I put the coffee on, and then as the coffee's brewing, then I put my shoes on. You guys, you got to multitask. This is my step-by-step. -step. Then I get the coffee going, 20 pumps of sugar in there. Because you need it. You need it. Um... And then feed the dogs, get my breakfast, which is usually banana or granola bar. Don't forget the lunch. Don't forget the lunch. Then I pour my, my water because you need water. And then I'm out the door. Then I pull up the eucalyptus, um, get things ready for the day. So on a school day at work, I come in. I come in about 7 o'clock. We greet some of the kids when you come in. The bell rings, unlock the doors. The gates open at 8 o'clock, so my very favorite thing to do then is going out and greeting all of our students. But but there's times where I have meetings, and so I'm unable to do that. We do not know what's going to happen on a daily basis in the office. <laughs> Check all of my emails. Check my emails. See what's going on around campus. Go over some paperwork. The bell rings. Sometimes they're running behind. Try to be out at lunches, visiting classrooms. I mean, the only routine stuff is probably coming in, sitting at my desk, and using the computer. But other than that, we don't know what phone call we're going to get or what child needs help. or We don't know. It's, everything is different every single day. That's why I like it. I go back home. Then after school, I go home. And it's my, my time to cook, clean. Play with uh, the kids. You know. Then I help with that, whatever chores around the house. 
dinner. You got to eat. And then um, maybe we'll watch it. Put the kids to bed, watch a show. And then go back to work. But I always make sure that I have my time for my daily prayer and for exercise. Who is the most important person in your life and why? Who is the most important person in your life and why? Who is the most important person in your life and why? Ooh, man, these are, you, know, you guys are getting into the, the good questions here. Ooh, I have a lot of important people. I would say if I have to narrow it down to one um, person. Yeah, I guess one person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I would choose my husband. Right now, I would say it'd be my husband. He is my best friend, and we've been married for 19 years now. And I think you need someone like that every day to ha- that keeps you going and gets you that motivation and uh, keeps you keeps you in line, you know, so you're not you're not going down the wrong path. Because they are everything to me. They're my life. I love spending time with them. My rock, you know, my foundation, uh, which keeps me motivated and going is Mrs. Brown, you know. So, Mrs. Brown, boom, my wife. I would say my family in general. I have a very big family, but my dad, he has just overcame a lot and always taught me to keep trying. I mean... I guess I should say, like, my whole family is, but for some reason, like, my kids, they're always going to be the most important thing to me. My kids, you know. Oh, yeah, and my husband. Can't forget him. (laughs) He's going to appreciate that. What is your favorite memory? What is your favorite memory? Hmm. My favorite memory. That's a tough one, dude. My favorite memory is when we went on a vacation. We went to Puerto Rico. Oh. So, yeah, so we went there, and we were all there. We went on the speedboats, and we went kayaking, and we were all as a family. And that is one of my favorite memories. Um, playing with my siblings when I was younger. Many times when it was just us. And back then, you know, we didn't really have, like, the computers or phones. So we wouldn't make up games. So playing with my five siblings. I think I have a lot of memories, but I think um, when I first came to Eucalyptus and I was very scared to teach fifth grade (laughs) and I, you know, it was the kids were very welcoming and they were great kids. And I learned that I could work with different ages, not just the little tiny kids. I would say maybe my wedding day when my father was alive to walk me down the aisle. Probably the walks I would take with my grandmother when I was a kid. And whenever we were sick, we had to go to her house. And so we would have these walks to go get the mail and come back. And so that was, those are probably my fondest memories, the stories she would tell me. And so my grandmother was a very, you know, big believer in spirits. And she would tell me about the spirits that come to the house. And that was a little scary. It was scared. I was scared to go to bed at night. (laughs) <laughs> because she would say, yeah, I sit over here, and then you're, you know, and my your grandfather walks through here. And I'm like, okay, that makes things kind of weird. She was very big into the spirits, but I enjoyed the stories and how things were during her time. So I was always a, a listener. What is your biggest fear? What is your biggest fear? What is your biggest fear? That question might get a little heavy for you. My biggest fear is a fear of heights. Public speaking. Crossing the street. <laughs> Um, I'm deathly afraid of driving by a cliff. I have a reoccurring nightmare of accidentally driving off a cliff, so I never drive near cliffs. To go over a bridge that has water underneath it. I do not like heights at all. Not cool. You know what the name is of fear of heights? What is it? Acrophobia, like acrobatics. Wow. Being in front of a bunch of people, talking to people, um, I... I'm fine with kids, but when it comes to being in front of adults, uh, it's very, very challenging for me. My biggest fear is to lose somebody that I love. My biggest fear, yeah, would be to not be there for, you know, my, my, my family, yeah. What is your biggest, what is your biggest pet peeve? Pet peeve. <sighs> my biggest pet peeve is probably people not being kind to others. The tapping. When somebody lies to me oh, and I yeah. know they're lying and they're still telling me that it's the truth when I know it's a lie. Do you have pets? I have three cats and a little French bulldog. No, I'm not a fan of pets or animals. What is your favorite food? 
What's your favorite food? My favorite food is sushi. Sushi. Absolutely love it. Food from all over the place. So you're basically saying that like you wanted to see what type of foods they would eat. Yeah. Foods that you have never tried before and like food that you would like to try. Right. It was cool to get to know people and, and, and know the things that they eat. And that was the most important um, message in that we uh, were all kind of mixed up with different things. So it was, it was awesome. You can now go off the script if you like and just ask questions that you okay. want to ask. Um, do you like ramen? Have you ever watched WWE? Do you like scary movies? What's your favorite movie to watch? Do you mind sharing what type of vehicle you drive and what your dream vehicle is? Do you mind telling us if you are married? And if you are, do you have any children? What is your favorite theme park? Are you scared of heights? If you could get on a roller coaster for a million dollars, would you do it? <laughs> oh, what's your favorite color? If you could travel anywhere, where would it be? What do you hope your students remember about you? And that was another episode of This Eucalyptus Life. Thank you so much to our students, Alan, John, Michelle, Ali, Itzel, Lexi, Taeja, Caesar, Matthew, Zachary, Freya, Kaylee, and Zyra. And thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our teachers and staff here at Eucalyptus, especially those that helped out with today's episode. Mr. Brown, Mr. Richardson, Miss Nancy, Miss Castillo, Mrs. Bunker, and Mrs. Marquez. Big shout out to our principal for the day, Miss Breland Buckles. And as always, thank you to our wonderful principal, Miss Erath, who can't stand the movie Frozen. In fact, the other day I was singing Let It Go, and she said, uh, You be quiet, you be quiet. Thanks again. We'll see you next week on This Eucalyptus Life.